guys. Um, it's just me today. I am going to do a get ready with me because me and Michelle, my daughter, are going to film a boxy lux with a little surprise. Um, hopefully my pop-ups are in the box because it's a pretty big box. But um, I'm going to put on some makeup and thought I would sit and see if you guys like to get ready with me. <laughs> so we'll see. I've already put on all my skincare and um, all that, so now I'm going to put on some primer and do my brows and we'll go from there. So, I'm going to put my hair back here. everybody's doing good today if you see me looking down it's because my mirror is right here um, and for those of you who don't know I have a prosthetic eye so it's gonna look like um, maybe I have a lazy eye or whatever but um, we're gonna give this a go so I'm going to use the uh, e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I don't love this stuff, but it's it's okay. Fills in my pores some. I don't know if I'm just like not doing it right or um, maybe it's just not a good primer for me, but um, I think I got it in a Walmart beauty box maybe a while back and um, I don't use it that often but I do use it sometimes I'm also I think on the rest of my face, I'm going to use, um, let's see what I, I have a little sample of Lancome. And um, so we'll see what this is about because I have um, not used it yet. I don't think, not that I remember anyway. I think I got this in a um, Ipsy a while back. I don't get Ipsy anymore, but it's a silicone type primer it feels like. Well, no, not just feels like it is a silicone primer. I'm just going to put this everywhere that I didn't put the um, Luminous Putty Primer. I'm just putting little dot on my finger and rubbing it everywhere. Seems to spread out nicely. Like, you don't need much of it, so um, we'll let that set in while I do my brows, which I used to have, like, a unibrow going on, and when I started plucking them, they didn't really start coming back in very well, so now I have really thin brows with, um gray in them a lot of gray hair that's why i color my hair but um yeah not not fun at all um i'm 46 years old and um in our family the the ladies go gray very very early 
So unfortunately, I have a lot of gray hair that you can't really see, so... I'm not, not really gray, it's more of a white... I have white hair. Um, I'm just using a clear brow gel right now to um, just kind of brush my brows up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this pencil. This is um, the Slim Brow from AOA. It's a pretty good um, brow pencil. I love how thin it is. I'm not, I don't do like, I don't carve out my brows or anything. I, I have bangs, so it kind of covers them up anyway. So I just want to darken them up a little bit so you can actually at least look like I have brows. And my brows are not um, even and because um, when I was two I had eye cancer and because I've had a prosthetic eye um, since I was two years old this side kind of is a little lower but um, it's um, let me move you over a little bit, so that helps, does not help, <laughs> um, but, um, this, this brow is like, it comes down more, I think, because I just don't have any fat on my eyelid anymore, so it kind of, and I had to have surgery when I was 11, and they had to shorten my eyelid, because my eyelid drooped too much over my prosthetic eye. So if you can see that scar there goes right across. But I don't have any fat on this eyelid like I do this eyelid. This eyelid has quite a bit more. And then it's, you know, I got a hooded eye there, but this eye is not. And um, it makes doing your eyeshadow, my eyeshadow, not yours, makes doing my eyeshadow very difficult to get even sometimes because that eye looks has more space on the eyelid and it's not hooded like the other one is and then right over my brow there it ring it has like a I don't know if there's scar tissue built up in there or what, but it makes it really hard to get my brow over there. The pigment to stick for some reason. It doesn't want to. So I don't, I don't play around with my brows too much. I just darken them up a little bit. So, as they say, your brows are, are sisters, not twins. Mine are kind of more like distant cousins. <laughs> or extended family. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a, just a little bit of this LA Colors Brow Powder. Just because the pigment doesn't want to stick very well over there to that um, 
wipe a little bit of this off. It doesn't, it doesn't like to stick here. So usually I use just a little bit of brow powder. Then I'm going to go in and um, put some brow, more brow gel on. Um, but I do need to pluck a couple of eyebrows right here. Let's see. What's everybody up to on Father's Day? Today is my youngest son's birthday. He turned 21 today. So it's a and it's a bittersweet day for him because it's Father's Day and his father passed away from COVID in December. Him and Michelle's father. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a hard day for them. Um, but, um, yeah, it was a sad situation. He was a severe alcoholic and he was having, he was in liver failure and he went to the hospital so many times to get his liver drained that he caught COVID somehow. And, um, passed away in December, so, I'm going to use this, um, what's it called, it's, it's the Amuse, got this from Shop and Say, the Amuse, eyeshadow primer why is that so blurry um let me be back in one second i'm going to try and clean this camera i can't believe i did that again <laughs> i thought i was recording earlier and i was not recording and so I had to go back and watch and see where I left off. And then I started again and I still wasn't recording. <laughs> so I've got these on, okay? And they're not, this one's not sticking. And I talked to you guys a little bit about Michelle. Well, actually I talked to myself about Michelle. But um, she um, is asleep right now. But when I'm done doing this, I'm going to um, wake her up because she's my caregiver and so when I need things done she does it for me um, I have um, stage 5 kidney disease um, let me show you this palette again from Ciate London that I got in a boxy charm and these are the colors and I have never used it before but I'm going in with this color and setting my lid. Um, so anyway, I was telling you about Michelle that she has bipolar and she's going through uh, an episode of manic. She's just, anyway, so I'm trying to give her her space, but I am going to have to wake her up a little bit because I need her. And, um, I try to do as much as I can for myself, so, until I can no longer do it, I will be doing things for myself, but there are some things I need help with, like vacuuming and stuff like that. So, um, oh, that nail keeps popping off. 
I don't know where it went. Anyway, I was also t <laughs> telling you guys, oh, that Michelle has the bipolar and Asperger, so she's, she's very sensitive, and so, you know, um, I'm trying to give her her space and stuff, but sometimes it's just hard when I need help, and she's <laughs> losing it, and so I end up having to be there for her sometimes more than she is for me. Um, it's not very often, but um, sometimes, you know, as a mom, you gotta do what you gotta do for your kids. Um, Michelle's 22, but I don't think that um, emotionally she's not, and you know, she's not 22. She's very, um, very intelligent. She tested top four in the nation. top 10 in the nation for four subjects in high school. When she graduated high school, she graduated with, I think it was six college credits. So she's very, very intelligent, but she doesn't have a lot of like street smarts or, you know, and she, when I tell people how old she is, they're like, what? <laughs> she's 22. Um, and but you know she's real little she's five foot three and she's she just it, she's hard but i love her to death but um i wanted to show you guys last video my nails were so bad and i was so embarrassed when i watched that video but um i went and took off that nail polish that same day when i did that um what's in the giveaway and <laughs> But this nail just popped off, but I wanted to show you it stained my nails It stained my nails green all of them and so And of course these ridges and stuff. I'll tell you about that in a minute But I can't get this green off and I'm hoping that it hasn't faded since I took the nail polish off I'm hoping that it doesn't like stay <laughs> that way until it grows out because my nails grow so slowly but all my nails have like these creases in them and some of them are split from the cuticle all the way up the nail so I can't grow my nails out and when I asked my doctor about it I'm like what's up with my nails and he said it's from the chemo and radiation that I have had so nothing I can do about it but I try to make it um, you know, so my nails look decent. My toenails are not like that. They're not split or anything, but my fingernails, so I just started using these Shop Masse nails. Um, and the only thing I don't like about these Shop Masse nails is that you have to buy two packs to get all your nails covered because it comes with 12 nails in a pack but um they're all different sizes none of them are the same size so unless you have 12 different size fingernails you're gonna need two packs which is it's okay with me because they're a dollar but um it is quite annoying. It is quite annoying. Then I tried some from Shein that came with 24 in a pack for a dollar fifty or something like that. And those nails were so thin that you could just bend them. And they didn't last more than a day on my fingers. So I won't even use those nails anymore. I have some. Maybe I should put them in the giveaway. Someone else might, you know enjoy them they're pretty but they're just so thin like i don't understand what's the point but um i think i'm gonna go in with this this brown and then and maybe mix it with a little bit of that brown um just to get a base going because i want to use these two 
I well this is a, a a topper and this is um like a cream color or not cream brown and it does have some shimmer in it let me show you it does have some shimmer in it if you can see that and then um but I was looking and with this on there a little bit of this top around there it's just beautiful and this is from Ciate London this topper is and this um, is Molly Mally and they I got them in a boxy charm but um, see that shimmer on there with that topper on top of that brown real pretty so I think that's what I'm gonna do um, and I have my um, color switch right here so I'm gonna just take some of that sh other shadow off which I probably didn't need to do that because it was so light but And getting my eyeshadow even, I don't know if that conversation got put in there either, is hard because my eyelids are completely different. Like, this eyelid is hooded and this one is not, and this one has no fat on it, and this one does, and this one had surgery and this one didn't, and I got a scar on this one, so it's just difficult trying to... Um, make them look even but you know once I put my glasses on <laughs> nobody can tell they're not even so I have my girl on my TV behind me miss everything random Jennifer me and her are pretty good friends well really good friends um, so I enjoy watching her videos even more than once she knows that so, if you guys haven't watched her you should go check out her channel she's pretty funny You can see all that green through the fingernails because it was a, a it wasn't an opaque nail as you can see my green fingernails but I, they look better than they did in the last video that was bad my fingernails were bad and guys all you new subscribers thank you you guys are awesome I hit 40. I couldn't believe it. Me and Michelle hit 40. I told her yesterday and she was like, what? So. This does not want to blend out. I don't usually use my finger, but I'm like, I watch some people do get ready with ready with me, and they'll use their finger and not any brushes. It cracks me up because they haul brushes like crazy, <sighs> and then they never use them. I do have a lot of brushes, but I need to wash them. Okay, put it in the car. We're going to buy it. We're going to 
but I gotta set up a table and stuff because I can't stand long enough at the sink to um, do it. So I have to set up a little table and sit at the table and with soapy water and clean water and all that kind of stuff. Oh my eye! It's watering like crazy today. I don't know what in the world. I'm not crying, I promise. <laughs> Although I do kind of want to cry because my baby's 21. I don't know if that looks, if you guys can see how patchy that is. It's, can't even hardly look, see it in the, in the camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it's, things look completely, completely different than they did in the, I'm going to see if I can put this on with the stick or if I need to put it on the back of my hand and use a brush. I have a lighted mirror, but the light is so dim, I don't even bother. Like, it does not help me. Sorry, I just got a text. But it's not important. It's uh, like a spam text thing. From my... It's not spam, it's from Look Fantastic. Saying they're having a flash sale, so... Can you guys see that? I gotta blend it out. I know it's messy right now. The edges are, is what I mean. And it's easier when I'm looking down to do this eye because then I can still see what I'm doing. Sometimes putting on eyeliner is so hard when you only have one eye and you're trying to put it on that eye that works. And um, I'm going to try some of this topper, but I'm going to put it on my hand and then put, put it on with a brush so I have a little more control. And this wand is so flimsy and it holds very little product. So. I'm going to use a brush and see if I can. It is this beautiful frosted. I think I might have brought it up too high. 
the stick one. And my desk. I hope I'm not bumping my desk too much and making you guys move. I probably am because I wasn't paying attention to it. So last month, on May 15th, I am finally in remission from my kidney cancer. So that's exciting to me. I didn't know until I got cancer this last time um, that you have to be cancer free for five years before you're considered in remission. Otherwise, you're just considered cancer free. So, which I found out I had kidney cancer on my birthday, um, December 27th. 2016 and um, I don't think they realized it was my birthday when they called me on the phone and told me but it wasn't a very good birthday because that's my third time having cancer and I was not very excited about it I didn't have a good feeling I you know before when I had bladder cancer I knew I was going to be okay, you know, even though, I'll tell you that story in a minute, but even though I, um, even though I, I don't know what I was saying, see my, I don't know where my head's at today, I think I was talking about my, bladder cancer. I'd found out my, I had bladder cancer when I was visiting Colorado because my mom had been diagnosed with colon cancer. And then a couple days later, she was just barely alive. She was, they had her in a coma. She was on the ventilator. And so she didn't live very long after she found out she even had it. But she, uh, I, um, I was in Colorado trying to be there with my mom while she was dying. And while we were there, my dad also got sick. He went to the emergency room and they told him he had leukemia just a couple of days after my mom was diagnosed with the colon cancer. And then while I was there, uh, my doctor, I had since had some scans sent to a, a back surgeon um, because I have tumors on my spine, not cancerous tumors, they're benign, but um, I wanted to see about, you know, getting them removed or doing something. And apparently the scans that he had got showed that I had bladder cancer, but those scans were oh, four years old. So I had already had bladder cancer for four years and the oncologist called me while I was in Colorado and he says, well, we need to do surgery on Monday. And I was like, what? Like, I don't know. I can't. I'm with my mom. And he said, no, you need to come back here. He's like, you've, you've already had this for, you know, four years or, and so I was like, geez. And they, you know, I didn't have to have any chemo or anything like that. They just did surgery and removed half my bladder, which it had metastasized through the wall of my bladder, but um, it didn't get my lymph nodes or anything like that. So they just removed half my bladder 
and I had a catheter for almost a month and then um, you know that it wasn't like a huge struggle for me but I was mad that the doctor who originally did the scans um, on my back didn't see this huge tumor in my bladder and so it, it's frustrating when stuff like that happens <laughs> but um, in one week my mom my dad and me all got diagnosed with cancer um, it was a very bad week for our family very bad and then uh, my mom died about a week later week and a half later somewhere around there and um, I couldn't be there and <laughs> really upset me but um, I know she's not in pain anymore she she was in a lot of pain when I had went to see her and at least I had got to say goodbye my kids got to say goodbye so that was all I don't mean to get all down on anybody, but it, uh, it was hard. It was hard. Um, I'm not going to do anything else with this shadow. I don't, well, I might need to lighten it up on the brow. Um, this, it's so hard to get things even sometimes, but when I put my glasses on, you're not even going to be able to tell. So I think I'm done with this shadow look. Put some eyeliner on. I got this um Ico London um, liner, and um, so I'm gonna take this off because it's not sticking anyway anymore, and I'm done with my shadow. And I don't do a wing because I would never be able to get them even with having no depth perception. So. But I am going to put on some lashes, so I want to get some eyeliner on. This one I have to, I'm left handed and blind in my left eye, so it makes things difficult. So I do this one backwards. It's harder to do when people are watching you. I know you're not actually here watching me, but. I'm talking to you like you are, so I'm trying to. The eye primer I am using again is by Scott and Stay and Trio. This is their nude primer, or their natural primer. I can't remember which one it's called, but this is the. Uh, and I don't do anything really under my eye. I put mascara on. But I can't put any shadow or anything under my eyes because this eye waters and whatever's there is gone within half an hour. So I don't even, I don't even bother doing that. Um, but I will put on some mascara and uh, after I get everything else put on, I'm going to put on some wipe this off a little bit. I'm going to be using this BB cream from Shop and Say. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Eloise. Um, 
illuminator because my skin's so dry it helps to not um, look as dry in my opinion uh, some people think it's the opposite but and I'm just I'm, I'm mixing it up here on my little palette that I got from shop is a and it comes with a little spatula too to mix it some people cover their face in the illuminator and then put um, the um, put the makeup on after but um, I see no point like if you're gonna put it on you might as well mix it in my opinion and this um, BB cream goes on best with a, a brush like you get better coverage um, I have um, a lot of discoloration on my face, like age spots. Um, so I just want to even that out, that's all. I don't want to have like a full coverage foundation on. But this is, I would say, you know, you can build it up and make it a good medium to full coverage if you want to put on a couple layers but we'll see how I do after the first layer if I want to put on another layer or not I use as little as possible because I have so many wrinkles around my mouth and stuff and it just settles I've never found a foundation that I like better than this BB cream um, they all settle in my fine lines so bad especially the ones under my bottom lip which I don't know how to get rid of that uh, it's not really fun line well yeah it is lines but the worst part is the um, the texture of my bottom under my bottom lip it's very um I'll show you in a minute I'll give you what you see but um I also have a problem getting anything to stick to my nose like I'm gonna go over this with my beauty ben beauty blend not beauty uh my sponge just to get off any excess that like on my nose it goes on better with a sponge but on my face it goes on better with a brush so it looks like nothing's going to stick to my nose I don't know if it's I always have that problem no matter what primer I use Let me go over it with this beauty blender and see if I can. You can use this like as a base under your foundation, which I've never tried that. Maybe I should try that and see if it does anything for my fine lines. But you can already see. Tell that texture right in here and I exfoliate twice a week so I don't know how to get rid of that I did order some of the new um, um, filler fine line filler from shop Masse. so when it comes I'm going to give that a good 
good go and see if I can, um, you know, fill up those lines before I put my makeup on and see if it helps. I don't know if it's more of a skincare type of thing or if it's a, like a makeup type of thing. Didn't really read a lot about it. I just seen the line filler and took it. <laughs> Put it in my cart. Checked out. So we'll see what it's all about. Shop Massey, I would say 80% of the time they're pretty good products, but sometimes I know I look really glowy right now, but I'm gonna fix that when I put when I put the powder on. Because I have to powder my face. The reason being is I have to, um, or not have to, I do have a lot of anxiety. And um, so I touch my face a lot, or I put my, my head gets tired, and I put my, and if I don't powder, then my makeup comes right off. So. Okay, now concealer, this is what I use for concealer, which is from AOA 2. It's a real good concealer. I know this one's almost empty, but I have a backup, so I'm not too worried about it. And this one's darker than, I mean, I, um, I do have some lighter ones. But I don't always feel like brightening my face. I just want a little more coverage in certain spots. So I'm going to put a little more on my nose just because this um, concealer sticks better to my nose than foundation does. So, and this sponge from Chamasse, this pink beveled sponge, amazing. I'm not picky about my sponges. I'll use whatever I have, but this one is really good. And it washes really easy. I love uh, what it looks like when people put, you know, brighten up their inner corner. But again, if I do that, it's just going to come off when my eye waters. <laughs> so there's really no point in me um, trying to do that. I was going to do a live with, um, about my cancer stories, but Michelle's going through a thing right now, and I have really bad anxiety, so I think talking about it in my videos yeah. like this is better. Well, I did have one question from one of my viewers, Monty, and I love you, girl. She wanted to know what my life was like before I had cancer. And that's an easy question to answer. I don't know what my life was like. <laughs> um, because I was too. When I got cancer the first time. And, um, you know, I had... Um, My earliest memory was coming out of surgery when they took out my eye, which my mom, I only know what my mom told me, and that was that um, 
they were supposed to take both my eyes because my cancer was so bad. It was a millimeter from my brain and it had, um, it was in both eyes. I had three tumors in my right eye and my left eye was just totally consumed with tumors. Um, and the re how we found out was my mom looked at me one day, she said she could see like right through my eye. Um, and I don't think that I got much attention until then because if you, if you don't notice something's wrong with your kid's eye until you can see through it, you're not looking at them very often. And my mom was very much of a baby type of person, so she had nine kids in 11 years and two miscarriages in that time. So um, once the baby was no longer 100% relying on her, it's like she needed another baby. And, I, and my sister, my oldest sister, pretty much raised us. But um, I went through a year, and I don't remember much of it. I remember a couple of my doctors, but um, I went through a year of chemo and radiation. I don't know if that was before my surgery, or I think it was after my surgery. Because what, they were able to save my right eye, obviously, when they went to do the surgery. They were able to save it. Those tumors are still there, but they're, they did something called cryo-freezing. And so they basically froze the tumors. So they can't grow anymore. So they're still there. And so I go to the eye doctors every year and get the, you know, dilation and they make sure everything's okay. But, um, yeah, they, they were able to save that eye. And, um, they said that if my mom had waited even another month that I wouldn't have made it. Like it would have hit my brain. That's how close it was to my brain. They actually didn't give me a good chance of survival. And my mom and dad had a picture taken of me, which they didn't, you know, that we were poor. So they had a picture taken of me professionally because they thought that I was going to die. And, and then they also took all of us to uh, Disneyland. And I remember riding on the little teacup. Oh, what is that? The little teacup ride with all the little teacups on it and it spins around. And my mom said that I rode that ride all day long. Like, that's the only ride I wanted to go on. <laughs> but then somehow I got lost. All by myself. And was taken to the Lost and Found. Someone took me to Lost and Found. <laughs> and my parents finally found me. And I think that having nine kids, you lose track of your kids. Sometimes at places at places like that. So I'm going in with my with some powder, uh, fair light from uh, Maybelline Fit Me. Um, So I do remember d going to Disneyland. I did not know until later on in life why we went, you know, and that was because they thought I was going to die and they wanted me to go have some fun. And I did. I had fun on that little teacup ride and I still haven't been to Disney back s to Disney since. Not that I don't want to, it's just a money thing. I try not to use a lot of powder on my face. I'm just dipping in real lightly on what's in the cap here. Right. But I'll show you my chin and I don't know what to do about it. Like I can't get it to not be so. Can you see that? 
like real cakey. I know it's not because of the powder. It's because of the texture. It just makes it look that way. I'm not using any more powder. I'm just pressing in what's on there with my damp sponge. Trying to get it to just melt into my skin a little bit. Um, I don't know what I did to my neck here. I tried rubbing this off with my rag I have sitting here and it will not come off. Look at this. Nothing. I do not understand that. Would it? I don't very often use, I never use makeup wipes on my face, but I do like to keep them around for stuff like this. For, for, for swatches and stuff that I can't get off. Are you serious? It's not even. It's, it doesn't even. With this makeup wipe. Like what? I don't know if I'm going to use that again. I don't know how hard that's going to be to get off my eyes. Hopefully my makeup balm will. Wow. Talk about some staying power. I don't know which one it was. If it was the topper or the base thing that I put on. I am going to use some, it's not setting spray, it's holy green water from Shop Miss A. And, it, and I just want to try and get that powder to melt in a little bit. I really like it as a, um, to do this. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm all done, I'll use it an actual setting spray. I got a, <laughs> an email, or not email, a message on Instagram from a company called Her, and I'd never heard of it before. And, um, They wanted me to come and be an ambassador or a model for their company because they really liked my photos. So I went to their site. I didn't reply to them or anything, but I went to the site to see what it was. And it was all skinny girls. I'm like, I don't think they know I'm a size 3X. <laughs> They're looking at my, because I don't post pictures of my body on there. And, um, what am I doing? And, um, I think they thought I was thin or something because, so I was just like, uh, no, because I will never make it. I did not see one plus size model in all their photos, not one. So I'm so excited about my giveaway and you guys, um, so many new subscribers, so excited. And, um, you guys all are commenting on my video, our videos, and we love it. We love to hear what you guys think. Hey, that eyelash curler took off. This 
eyeliner, which I thought this eyeliner was waterproof. And maybe it is waterproof, but it's not eyelash curler proof. Smudge proof. <laughs> no. It says smudge proof on it. It is not smudge proof. Just smudged right off onto my eyelash curler. I always get this itch right here every time I put on my foundation on my nose. I am going to put lashes on, but I'm also going to put on some mascara. Which I'm using Too Faced Damn, Damn Girl from Too Faced. I find, I've been using magnetic lashes for about a year because I could not get regular lashes on. Like I had a problem figuring out how to get them to stick. And I tried Shop Massey's eyelash glue and I can do it now. They have the best eyelash glue and lashes. So if you haven't been to shop, I say go there because they have some amazing products. I haven't found a mascara that I like from them, but I have um, found a lot of other great products. But they did just come out with a new mascara. But I did not order it. If I'm going to wear, I'll show you what it's called in a minute because I can't remember. But if I'm going to wear it all day, mascara, I have to put on some waterproof. And I've only found one mascara that really works and stays on my eye that waters so bad. Prosthetic eye. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, yeah. okay. I hate doing my bottom lashes because I'm always getting it everywhere. And I don't hardly ever use this mascara, but just look at how much product is on that wand. Like, I ordered some skinny lash mascara from Shop Miss A. So we'll see how that works. Um, I tried it before and I wasn't like super impressed with it, but I didn't use it with the primer. So I'm going to try it with their Skinny Lash Primer. I'm not, I don't know why this mascara is so clumpy. I don't like clumpiness on my bottom lashes. And I always get it on my bottom lid, and it's okay. I'll go in with the Q-tip and clean it off when it's dry. on a pair of these lashes. I'm going to use the Luna lashes from Shop Massey. This was, I think, $6 for, for a five pair. Or $5 for six pair. Something like that. What did I do with that? And this is their um, super lash eyelash glue and it, it it's nice because you don't have to wait for it to dry very long like you want to use this 
Let me put them on right away after you. Put the glue on there. You want to get them on pretty quick after that. Especially if you're like me and you need to do a lot of adjusting. And this is the clear one. I bought the black too, but I, I like the clear, so I'm not gonna open the black until my clear is gone. And sometimes I have to try twice, so if I don't get these on the first time, I'll do it again. Apparently, I can't talk and put on lashes at the same time because I got quiet on you guys. <laughs> so, I hope you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Please share. Please comment. If you have any questions, comment below. And uh, I love all of you guys. And I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. I'm just going to try it with my fingers instead of using that. I do have the lash tweezers, but I don't know. I was going to show you guys that mascara, the waterproof one. 
it's kind of expensive, but it, it's um, really, it's a good mascara and it's not, it's a, it's a drier for, formula. It's called Siren Mascara. Um, it's from, oh gosh, I forgot the company's name. But anyway, it's called Siren Mascara and it is completely waterproof. Like, that stuff isn't going to come off until you take it off. Okay. I need to move this palette thing before I get it all over me. Um. I'm going to be using this face palette from Kenya Ontivera Beauty. I don't know, I've never heard of that company, but again boxy charm this is the palette i'm going to use this highlighter probably this blush and i don't know if that's i'll have to pull out another bronzer because i don't want to that's a little too orange for me i don't like that bronzer as a bronzer it might look good as a blush on someone but i like this um bronzer from Aesthetica. So, real light bronzer. What did I do with my bronzer brush? I had got out a bronzer brush. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's real powdery, though. And I bronze the crap out of my forehead because I have such a big forehead. Like, look at how pretty she is. It's You can't. That's why I have to have bangs because my forehead's so big. Got to work with what God gave you, right? I think I put a little more of that um, the illuminator in there than I needed. <laughs> We're looking pretty greasy. I don't usually put bronzer all over my face, but for some reason I feel like, at least on the camera, it looks like my skin is not quite matching my neck. Um, a little more about me. I've had 13 major abdominal surgeries so I have had to have they took out half my bladder but I also um, have something called neurofibromatosis type 1a and it causes me to get tumors benign tumors on some on my skin but mostly on my organs so they I had to have all my large intestines removed 
and then I had a surgery to remove tumors from my uterus. Um, because I had such large tumors in my uterus. And then when I had my last son, because I had had that previous surgery on my uterus, I had to have a cesarean. And then when I got kidney cancer, they removed, they thought they were going to get away with just removing half of my right kidney. And so they did that. And then come to find out they didn't, he said he got clean margins, but Apparently he did not, and they had to go in a month later and remove the other half. And I had to have um, my le left abdominal adrenal gland removed because it had tumors on it, and they didn't know if they, they couldn't tell from the scans if they were because I had them on both abdominal adrenal glands, but um, they um, just removed the one and tested it, and it was not cancerous. But um, so not having an adrenal gland makes you very tired. I can say that. <laughs> but I I don't sleep well at all. I have sleep apnea, and it's just I don't sleep well. I have insomnia and. You name it, I have it. Oh, blush. I need some blush. Um, so, um, they did that surgery. I'm trying to think what other surgeries there was. That, that might have been all of them. The bladder surgery, the two cesare or the two, the cesarean, and then the removal of the tumors in my uterus. My large intestines, these were all different surgeries. Boy, I went in way too heavy with that blush. Um, so I had that done. Um, and so because I've been cut open so many times, my muscles are um, they don't work so I always look like I'm like nine months pregnant like and there's nothing I can do about it there's not I can't exercise and you know tighten up those muscles because those muscles have been cut through so many times that this blush is like way too And I, and I don't know why I put that on there like it was bronzer. So I don't know how to do it to this side too now. I'll put a little bit on my bridge of my nose. Um. I also have hypothyroidism and gastroparesis. The tumors that I had in my intestines were on the nerves and they had killed all the nerves in my intestines. My intestines were still alive, but the nerves were basically paralyzed, so they weren't working. And the same thing has happened with my stomach. Um, but obviously you know i'm gonna try to keep my stomach as long as i can <laughs> i want to keep the rest of my organs they've taken enough from me i look nine months pregnant but i'm empty so um yeah the only last thing i want to do is put on some highlighter and i hope i don't screw this up too because my makeup I do not like the way it's turning out, really, but we'll see what it looks like when. Is this? This is the F13. I thought it was the highlighter brush. My highlighter brushes must be all dirty. 
because I have a few from Shop Missé. Their highlighter brushes are just amazing. They apply highlighter really, really well. Not that I need that much as well as I am today. I'm not going to put any on my... It's a pretty highlighter though. Water in again. I've never had any problems with this mascara, but for for some reason, um, I've only used it a couple times, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's waterproof because it's already kind of running down right here where my eyes watering. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm going to do my hair and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Just put on a um, purple shirt, the purple bead necklace, some earrings, and my bracelets from Shop Miss A. And this bracelet that um, Everything Random sent me. It's got a little um, flower charm on it. And then I put on some, let's see if you can see them. Put on some leggings. And that's what I'm going to be wearing today. So. Most of the time I'm in um, pajamas because um, no reason to get dressed if you're not leaving the house. But I want to do that um, video for you guys later. And I don't want to be a mess in it. I mean, I am a mess, technically. But um, I don't want to look a mess. I like to look, feel like I look presentable to people. Um, straightened my hair. Not, I didn't section it off or anything. I just kind of ran the, cart, the thing through it. Um, but um, we'll probably do the unboxing here in my room. Sorry, I left my closet door open. Ignore that. Um, so, because... I have uh, those tumors on my spine and rheumatoid arthritis, neuropathy in my legs, and I don't think I'm going to make it down downstairs to do the video down there, so it'll probably be up here in my room where I'm at right now. If I have Michelle come up here with me when, or just stay up here with me when she helps me vacuum and stuff up here. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you watch that boxy charm video here in a little bit. And um, I'll probably put some lipstick or something on for that. But when I get nervous, that's what I do with my lips. I smack them together and then the lipstick gets everywhere. So, I don't really <laughs> wear the lipstick unless I'm on camera or something. And... When I go out, I'm always wearing a mask. I, kn I did get my vaccinations, um, but other people have it, so I still wear my mask everywhere. Um, and my kids still need to get vaccinated, so I'm hoping that they decided to do that soon. They want to, they just never want to make the time to do it. Um, but personal choice, I guess, with that vaccine. Um, and um yeah i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like it if you did if you didn't give it a thumbs down 
Um, if you would want me to do this again, let me know. Um, I know it was more of a story time than a get ready with me. Well, it was actually both, but um, I just want you guys, I don't want you guys feeling sorry for me. I don't want any pity. I don't like to be pitied or felt sorry for because I'm a really strong person and I, um, most of my days are good. I enjoy my life. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that I can't do and I spend a lot of time in this room, but I also have my beautiful children that live here, all three of them right now. And I have air in my lungs and I'm happy. So I don't want you guys to feel like I wanted pity or you to feel sorry for me because that's not the case at all. I just want to, I wanted you guys to know more about me and I'm sure there's a lot more to learn, but hopefully you know a little more than you did before you watched this video. So we'll talk to you later. I love you guys.